Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd and I'm Todd. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I love psychedelic music. I love the psychedelic music that was performed in the 60s. So in 69, I learned about a group called the Neon Philharmonic. It was two people. One was Tupper Saucy, who played keyboards and wrote a lot of the songs and Don Gant, who was the vocalist. And they did a song that came out in 1969, in February 1969, called Morning Girl. It was a single. And when it hit the radio, and I heard it for the first time, it was like, that's like the perfect pop song. I mean, it is a great, great pop song. And I went out immediately, bought the single, and brought it home, and played it over and over and over. So the song... Um, goes as with keyboards and and vocals you know keyboard set up and then the vocals come in but then it gets kind of weird uh this brass comes in with uh violins and cellos and and other orchestration and then the horns go away and then the orchestration gets kind of bizarre and that's where i think the psychedelic portion of this thing is and it reminds me a lot of the break that's in susan by the buckinghams remember we went over that song a while back, I did a video on Susan by the Buckinghams where it's got the first half of the song, then they do this break with all the psychedelic stuff, and then they finish the song. Well, the ending of Morning Girl sounds a lot like that break. So, I want to do the video and the, and the song. So, I was looking for a video that would represent the song, and I found two of them. One uh, was footage of um, a family in, in a house must have been in probably late 60s, early 70s, and it was very much period clothing and stuff. And, and it looked cool, but it didn't really follow the song. And I wanted something that kind of represented the song. So I found a second video that follows this young girl, probably in her 20s. And um, I thought it, it fit the song very well. And the ending is really cool, how they uh, had this girl doing different things to fit the orchestra that is kind of going crazy at the end of this song. So here's the other thing. The only negative about this whole song is it's too short. It's a little over two minutes long and it's like, it's over with already? This is such a great song. They could have added another minute or two to this song easily and you, you still would have been like, this song's too short. It's just that perfect of a pop song. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to and watch the video for Morning Girl. And this is a fan-made video. So here we go. Morning Girl How'd you sleep last night? You're several ages older now Your eyes have started showing how The little girl's growing now Morning girl Was that you last night Crying on the radio Begging for a way to go to go back where love wasn't jumbled so Oh no, things are different now Than they were before You know love is more than kissing A whole lot more Just stop it there real quick. I mean, I love this guy's vocals. I think that's what sold me on this song. You got the, you know, you got the keyboards coming in, you get some drum and some bass and you know, your typical instruments, but his voice is so uh so good. I mean, they're they're like he's explaining this girl and it's like you can almost picture her in your mind just from his vocals. I just think the vocals are so great on this song. I'm going to move it back just a little bit and pick it up about here. To go back where love wasn't jumbled so Oh no, things are different now Than they were before You know love is more than kissing A whole lot more Morning girl Put your dreams away 
and read your box of Cheerios And powder puff that pretty nose And go out and find your man where the wild wind blows Morning Okay, I, I love I love the ending. I gotta play this ending again because I just think this ending is just so good to this song. Uh, it's like right about here where it starts to get going pretty quickly. It's here. I just love that ending. I mean, you got those that uh, the the orchestra kind of just like almost like the the end of uh, um, a day in a life by the Beatles. It's just kind of hectic, and then he's got the video going in that same pattern and, and almost the same beats. Just really well done. I just really love the video that goes that they built for this song that this fan created for this song. But I love the song. I've I've always loved this song. Every time I hear it. I, you know, it's like I got to stop doing everything so I can listen to this song. It is just a wonderful, wonderful song. I did buy the Elm when it came out on CD. I didn't buy the album back in 1969, but they reissued this on CD. Sunday's record did in the 90s. I picked it up, and the the Elm is pretty good. I mean, it's 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 a pretty much a psychedelic music album. A lot of keyboard, a lot of orchestra, um, doing hectic things like in this song. But it's a, it's a great great album and i love this song so if you like neon philharmonic and morning girl hit the like button that'd be really cool um give us give me some feedback on neon philharmonic morning girl or what you're doing the first time you heard this song because it's one that if you hear it you're gonna like it and put those in the comments below and if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel just pick that subscribe button it will be the best thing you do today. And if you ring the bell, you'll get updates on my latest videos. And I'm hoping you're having a great, great day. And you got to be wearing a big, big smile because then everybody around you will be smiling. And peace out, baby.